shortly after he writes these lines that celebrate a, a love and peace that surpasses all the arguments of the earth, the nation finds itself in a civil war. And Whitman gives up uh, his standing as the national bard, as his primary means of self-identification, and takes up the position of the wound dresser in Washington, D.C., where he nurses soldiers who've fallen from Confederate armies as well as Union armies. Whitman would later say that the Civil War was as important to his poetic compact as was the movement of the efflux and influx of the breath of life. What was it about the Civil War that drew out of this man who had a profound sense of working class consciousness and the affective solidarity between working men and women that drew him to the role of the wound dresser, the second major turning point yeah. in Whitman's career. Well, I, there, there is a change there because the first, up, up between 1855 and 1860, there are th I think there are three editions of Leaves of Grass and, and they're much more optimistic Right, they're much more optimistic and, and, and much more about the uh, fecundity of the country and the promise of the country. And then with the, you know, he, he goes to, his brother was wounded and he, was, and he ended up in Washington, D.C. looking for his brother. And there's a... Uh, brother uh, George, was it? Y yes, and there's this uh, anecdote, George Washington Whitman. Yes. <laughs> and there's this anecdote about he, him uh, going to the tent where his brother was supposed to be, and outside there was uh, this cart of amputated limbs, and uh, and he he decides they can't turn away from this, and that he can bring something to as a nurse. That he act, he he criticized some of the medical professionals who were dealing with these soldiers because he didn't think that they could that they were properly appreciating the humanity of these common soldiers. Uh, it, it, you know, there, the, it was, and, and he found something else about the nation. All of a sudden, he f dealing with these soldiers, he found out uh, most of whom were, uh, or, or many of whom were working class and from all over the country, from Southerners, uh, uh, northerners, uh, immigrants, about one in ten soldiers were, were, were immigrants. And, uh, and, and he starts to find, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't eclipse his sense of the richness of the country, but it, it does expand it and add a certain tragic element to his idea of what happens. Although he, he kind of regains his optimism later, it never is, is as unalloyed as it was before the war. Mm -hmm.